Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today I wanted to make my own fish food and I have made my own fish food but my SD card took a dump and I don't have any of the footage so we just have the fish food. Anyway, this is some DIY fish food that I made. I got the inspiration from another YouTuber, Fishman. I shall try and link his channel up here or up here somewhere. He made a video the other day of how he makes his DIY gel food. Um, you might have seen some videos on my channel where I've made my own food and it's usually beef heart. Um, and I tend not to use gelatin or any of the liquids used when cooking the foods, but he does and he uses the liquid and it makes great sense to me. Um, use the liquid, you don't lose any of the nutritional value and he says the, the colouring as well so it made great sense to me um, go and have a look at that video, you can see how he makes it I pretty much did the same thing that he did um, I, I used my own ingredients the only real changes I made to what he did was I added some garlic I added um, some prawns and mussels and a bit more fish I used some protein powder and then I made a green version where I added some spirulina powder and the red version where I added some caffarol pink food colouring um, but yeah, so I've made it I've got it so thanks to Fishman for giving me the idea I just wanted to try something a bit different really and that's what it's all about so now let's go and see if the fish will eat any of it um, I've had it in the freezer again, another difference is I've got these old ice cube trays use it like that, I, think it's, I find it quite easy just to pop them out and you can use a cube that will cut up quite easily but let's go and feed some of this so where should we start? let's start with these rainbows these are some reasonably new fish I've got in for one of my tank maintenance customers just put them through some quarantine here and so I've got a little bit here, I'm not sure whether it's something that will stick to the sides or not see how they like it I'm certainly going for the bits that are breaking off so my recipe that I've used for these is a couple of fillets of white fish about Half a bag of prawns, half a bag of mussels, courgette or zucchini, depending where you're from. A couple of carrots, some red cabbage, a few cloves of garlic. Um, I always like to use garlic in fish food if I can because it tends to stimulate the appetite as well as provide some kind of um, medicinal value, whether it's an antibiotic, not antibiotic, antibacterial. Uh, something like that well they're eating the bits that have kind of fallen off but they're kind of ignoring the big lump so far these rainbows are pretty awesome I might have to get some of these for myself so the big lump is just here but they're more interested in the camera than anything else guys, get stuck in. Now we'll leave it for a little bit longer. Um, let's try the Pleco tank. We can drop a bit in here. See if they go for it. Will it sink? Will it float? Should sink. Um, let's try some in with the cribs. They usually attack pretty much everything. Again, they're going mad for the bits that are coming off, but not so much for the bits. I think it might just be they don't really understand what this is, because I've never used gel foods before. 
Let's try a little bit uh, one of the guppy tanks. Yeah, we're eating it. One of them's figured it out at least. Have a look at the puffer, let's see if he'll go for it. If I was going to make a prediction, it would be that he will see it and try it and say, that's not a prawn. But let's give it a go, see what he does. Straight on it. Straight big chunk out of it. A few chunks out of it. Oh, 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 I think we might have a winner here for some new puffer food. That's more like it. Uh, that is excellent. If I can get him to eat this regularly, there's such a good mix of food in there that that'll be really good for him. I was a bit worried about his limited diet. Well, not necessarily limited, but so far I've only really been able to get him to eat snails, prawns and bloodworms. He'll ignore pellets, he ignores flakes. So oh, that would be really good because that's got quite a lot of different mixed ingredients in there from vegetables to proteins and fish, prawns, mussels, all kinds of stuff. How are we getting over here with the cribs? Yeah. Still a bit unsure, but they're pecking at it. I like the way it doesn't completely disintegrate because it's got the, the gelatin in it holding it together as a gel food. I don't know if that one's actually trying to guard it. <laughs> but at the, moment, at the moment, no one's eating it. The guppies have pretty much destroyed the bit I gave them. So they seem to quite like it. Look at the size of that one. Tiny little guy. veritable feast going on down here with the, the bristle nose. They are all getting stuck into that. Rainbow's still not really noticed it. So kind of 50-50% success rate here I would say. Guppies love it, plecos love it, rainbow fish loved it and then ignored it. But I think they just haven't found it yet. This guy sold out straight away. Cremensis, yeah. well they definitely are picking at it now. So I think that's a winner. Well it counts as a win anyway. Um, let's go upstairs and see if the discus will eat it. I'll take up the green and the red to see how they get on. Let's try it with the discus, see how they get on. Not exactly breaking their backs to get it, but a couple of them have had a few pecks at it. I've never found this to be a particularly voracious eater. More of a grazing fish in my experience. But maybe when some of these tipplers come in and start pecking away at it, 
Oh, I'm getting them going. Peace. 